first thing we want to do to achieve these results is make a base effect stream. That's the stream that allows you to edit it so you can do all these cool things. Okay, so let's do that. Merv streams add base effects and we'll call it base. Okay, now to make sure that it was created properly, you can type in Merv streams print look up here and base is there. Okay, great. Now we want to preview it because we want to be able to see how all the commands we put in affects the base effect stream. Okay, so let's type in Merv streams preview and then base. Okay, now that we're previewing base, we can go ahead and put in our next command. Merv stream edit base player models action. You can probably guess what this does. Let's no draw it. It's draw or no draw. No draw removes the player. But the knife is still there. Okay, well, that's taken care of by the next one. Just replace player with weapon. And now the weapon's gone. Weapon models action and player models action. Removes players, removes weapons. Let's draw them back. Huh? How about it? All right, cool. All right, thank you for watching this tutorial. Shout out to my executive producers, Kurza and Speedzor. Without their support on my Patreon, these tutorials wouldn't be happening. All right, now let's have fun flying around the map in slow motion. Woo! Fire! Fire! Okay. Eh.